The ERC20 converter is live on the testnet. Finally, Ledger Live will be supporting Cardano natively. The end of an era, the meld ISPO is coming to a close. And let's take a look at how we can do some real testnet transactions on Sunday Swap. Let's see how in the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, it's time for the weekly report. We've got a bunch of exciting updates for you. And then at the end of the video, we're going to take a look together at how to do some real testnet transactions using Sunday Swap. Let's jump in. So last week, we talked about a lot of these things that were going to be live by the time the video published, but now they actually are. And the first one is the AGIX ERC20 converter is now live on the testnet. So you can actually go today and test this out. If you look here, they have some screenshots on what it actually looks like. And, and this is actually exactly how it is. These are real live screenshots of it in action. So right now, the ERC20 converter obviously only supports AGIX, but in the future, the idea is that as multiple bridges are built for different currencies with corresponding tokens on both sides, this list will grow here. So you'll go, you'll select which one, you'll put the amount, send it from, in this case, Ethereum to Cardano, but it can go back and forth. And then you can obviously come down here and you can view this on both the testnet for Ethereum as well as for Cardano. And you can see the actual transaction history of the swap happening. If you're interested in trying this out for yourself and seeing how the actual swapping works, from the Ethereum blockchain to Cardano. We'll link this blog below and you can give it a try yourself. As we mentioned in our other episode about building bridges, this is huge because aside from adding to the ecosystem in Cardano itself and getting people excited about the things that are natively happening on the blockchain, the ability to bring people over that are already active from Ethereum to Cardano, where they can, for example, bring over their AGIX tokens and then paired with what we're gonna look at later with Sunday Swap, then be doing swapping on the Cardano blockchain faster, more securely, and for significantly lower fees. This is gonna bring a whole other group of people that are just ready to go and wanna do transactions that we have a captive audience here that wants to be wasting less money on swaps and wants to have a more secure way to do it. So the Sunday swap piece we're gonna look at and how the swaps happen is super exciting, but these kinds of bridges and the more that we can build that bring people over with their assets that can be swapped is a huge thing that's gonna be coming out and continuing to be built out in the near future on the Cardano blockchain. Really, really exciting stuff. Love to see that this is live on the testnet now. Next, Ledger just wrapped up their conference in Paris, and the thing that we're most excited about, and probably many of you out there, is that they are proud to announce that they'll be integrating several different currencies, including Cardano, directly into Ledger Live. A big complaint we've heard from a lot of people is, Ledger is great, Ledger Live is also really nice to work with and really, really smooth, but why do I have to get another third-party interface to manage my funds? As we've been saying for a while, the main thing that we suspected Ledger was waiting on was for all these big developmental milestones to finish up, like get proof of stake and delegation out of the way, get the ability to handle multi-assets out of the way, get smart contracts live and up and running. And now the dust has settled on that a little bit, it makes sense that there's a good time now for Ledger to say, okay, all of the major functionality on Cardano is now settled, now it's just iterative improvements, okay, let's build it into Ledger Live. Super exciting and we'll keep you updated on more as we hear more. Next. The end of an era. For those of you that were delegating to Meld as part of their ISPO, keep in mind that the ISPO is coming to a close. And after this point, you will not be getting any more Meld tokens. So for those of you that used to be Aspen delegators and went over to Meld, congratulations on your tokens. We'd love to have you back. And keep in mind that the Sunday Swap ISO has not started yet. So we have a good gap here between when Meld is ending and when Sunday Swap is starting. And delegating to any of the scooper pools that Sunday Swap is hosting currently won't be giving you any extra rewards or anything. So we'd love to have you all back. Come hang out in our pool for a bit and then you know feel free to go off to Sunday Swap. And then you know come back when you're done with that too. There's lots of exciting projects going on, lots of exciting ISOs. But in the meantime, the gaps in between them, if you want to support the channel, we'd really appreciate support a small single pool operator and come delegate to the Aspen Stake Pool. The water's fine here. And finally, let's get to it. Sunday Swap is live on the testnet and you can now do real testnet transactions with Sunday Swap. So let's take a look at how. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come to testnet.sundayswap.finance and when you're here, you're gonna see the ability to just connect straight to your wallet or a nice little guide on how to get started. So let's click on beta guide and it tells us, welcome to the public testnet beta and here are the steps we need to do. Step one, download the NAMI browser extension. 
If you haven't done that yet, we made a video yesterday on how to get and install the NAMI wallet. Check that video out and then come back here and we'll continue together. So assuming you have the NAMI wallet installed, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is connect our wallet. So let's do that. I'm gonna click on connect wallet. So by connecting your wallet, you acknowledge this is a public beta on the testnet. So we'll say yes, and we'll click on NAMI. And so look at this, wallet connection error. To use Sunday Swap, adjust your wallet's connection to be for the testnet. This is a great, very helpful error. So as we showed in our NAMI video, if you come to your wallet, click on your little avatar, go to settings, and make sure that on network, you switch it over to testnet. Okay, this is really important when you're doing this kind of test work that the wallet is set to testnet. All right, so let's close this back and let's go back to our beta guide. And now let's go to connect our wallet. I agree, and NAMI. Okay, and now if you have multiple monitors, this is, uh, there it is. <laughs> this is something that threw me off the first time I did this. Uh, it, it'll pop up on a different monitor potentially, so you're gonna have to bring that back over. The first time I did it, <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on? And then I had like six, oh, here we go. Actually, look, here we go. I've got two of these sitting here. So, okay, cool. So now, if you set your NAMI wallet to testnet, and you clicked accept on the little pop-up that popped up, you'll see here that you're successfully connected when you see your address populating where previously it said connect. So we'll go back to our beta guide. We've downloaded the wallet, we've connected it, and now let's fund it. Okay, so there's a testnet faucet that we're gonna get from Sunday Swap. And yes, we're keeping in mind that these are test assets and not real assets. They're not transferable and they're not worth anything. It's just for us to actually test this out. So that sounds good. And we're gonna get all these different kinds of assets. So let's fund our wallet. Submitting goodies, request for the wallet, transaction building. So we're gonna let this build and then we'll go ahead and pick up once it goes through. Okay, so important step, uh, the fund your wallet thing for us, which is hanging for about an hour and finally asking around in the community, shout out for the amazing Cardano community that we're all a part of. There's a couple of things you need to do if this is a brand new NAMI wallet that you're using. You might get an error if your wallet was completely empty. So here's two things you'll need to do. First, if your testnet wallet is completely empty, you're gonna to wanna to get some test ADA to start with. And for that, you're gonna to wanna to come to the Cardano testnet faucet and we'll link this down below. What you're gonna to wanna to do is select some test ADA, paste in your address. You don't need to do the API key. Hit I'm not a robot and click on request funds. What will happen with that is they'll send you 1000 test ADA. Once that has come in and you've gotten your test ADA, you wanna to come to your NAMI wallet, click on your little avatar here, go to collateral, and then we see here, add collateral in order to interact with smart contracts on Cardano, and the recommended amount is five test ADA. So you're gonna do that, put in your spending password and hit confirm, and then what you'll notice is, if yours was stuck like ours was, pretty much right away, as soon as you received your test funds from the Cardano faucet and you've added your collateral, then pretty much immediately, then the funding will go through. So this detail is huge. This collateral needs to be in place for smart contracts to work, which is the whole point of what we're doing with this Sunday test. So make sure you have the collateral added. And if you have no funds to add for collateral, you can get those from the Cardano testnet. Again, we'll link that below. Okay, so now we have the wallet installed, we've connected it and we've funded it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We were just seeing this here, but let's take a look again. We have nearly 2,000 test ADA. About 1,000 of it was sent to us by the Cardano testnet faucet that we used to make our collateral. And the other 1,000 was sent to us by the Sunday faucet, including all of these other test assets that we can use for our swapping. So let's get to swapping. Okay, we're gonna come back here to Sunday Swap, go to Swap. So let's do a test transaction simulating what a lot of people are probably gonna do when Sunday goes live. And we're gonna go from ADA, and then we're gonna say that we wanna swap some ADA for some Sunday tokens. So if we put here Sunday, this, this zero is just how many we have right now. So it's okay that it's zero. So we have about 2,000 ADA, we have zero Sunday tokens. And let's say we wanna swap 100 ADA, and that's gonna give us a bunch of Sunday tokens. What is this? Uh, 995 million Sunday tokens, okay? Cool, so what we can see here is the slippage price impact. If you're not familiar with DEXs and DeFi, this is important. This slippage price impact is how much the amount of the token you're trying to swap for, how much the act of you swapping it is going to be affecting the price of that token. And for the slippage, you wanna set a certain tolerance on how much you're willing to tolerate of the price fluctuation. So you can come up to settings and change it to whatever you want. I think by default on the testnet, it sets it to 100%. That's a terrible setting to have it in in mainnet, but if we're swapping back and forth, if it's illiquid pairs, then maybe that would make sense. Let's set it as some reasonable number, let's say half of a percent, just for now. 
just so we can see what this would look like in demonstration. So this is well below half of a percent, so we're good to go. So let's hit swap. We are going to swap 100 ADA for 995 million Sunday. It walks us through what the effective price we're getting is, the different fees, the tolerance that we've set. And we see here that with that tolerance we've set, the transaction will revert if the price changes by more than that percentage. So here's the estimated about we're gonna get. And then when you wanna swap here, you have to actually click and hold. So we'll click and hold to swap. A nice pretty little Sunday animation, we let go. Cool, transaction was confirmed and submitted. And we see that we've got an error, failed to swap. So let's see why, let's try again. So I went back here to double check, you guys should do the same in case you run into the same problem that I did. If you were paying close attention, you might have noticed this when I showed you the collateral section earlier. For some reason, even though we added it and it went through, the collateral was no longer there, so I had to go back and add it again. And now that my collateral is five test ADA, let's try this one more time. We're gonna select going from ADA to Sunday. Okay, transaction submitted and we can view it on the Explorer. So if I click on here, all right, it looks like it takes us to the test net and we can view our transaction, fantastic. So if I close this here, we can now go to view our transactions. We can see our pending swap. If we look here, we see it has three confirmations. Okay, so you can see here, uh, we actually went ahead and did several other transactions and we tried them out here. So we've got a bunch that are pending, some different states here. One of them actually went through. So I think it's probably a good moment to, to pause and say, this is very much uh, a brand new open beta testnet. We were chatting with some of the folks in the Sunday Discord and we'll link that below as well. Really, really helpful uh, pie that you've seen on a bunch of interviews and things. Oh, look at that, another one just went through. Um, is in there helping answer questions that they're all doing a really great job. But um, apparently some of it can be a confusing uh, issue with the UI about liquidity that's available or not or whatever else. So what we'd recommend if you wanna test this out, it's all test ADA anyway, um, while they're rapidly iterating through some both clarifying UI issues as well as actual like real issues under the hood, what we'd recommend is probably going from like something like SBerry to RBerry, or even here we did ADA to SBerry and that one works. On the one that we submitted before, the ADA for the SBerry that went through, it cleared pretty quickly. So um, if it works, if it's working correctly, it should be less than five minutes for your swap to happen. If it's taking longer than that, there's probably some error going on that the UI is just not being very clear about what's actually going on under the hood. So. Give it a try. If you're having issues, let them know in the Discord because they're looking for exactly this kind of feedback. So we've been chatting with them. And there we go, as we were talking, this just went through in about two minutes was all that it took. So it should be literally just a couple of minutes at most. We can see here for the swaps that successfully went through, our S Berry balance has gone up because we've successfully swapped for those. Rapid iteration and kind of rough around the edges testing. These are what open test nets are all about. Give it a try, let us know how it's going for you, let us know in the comments below, and if nothing else, we'll see you next week.